police at scene of explosion Facebook burns end to friend comment a man with a pipe bomb strapped to him set off the crude device in the subway near Times Square on Monday, injuring the suspect and three other people at the height of the morning rush hour. Follow ENF News on Facebook and Twitter The man and three others were being treated for non-life-threatening injuries in what the mayor and police labeled an attempted terror attack. The explosion happened in an underground passageway under 42nd Street between 7th and 8th Avenues. The 738-M blast caused smoke to fill the passageway, which was crowded with throngs of Monday morning commuters. Police near the site of the explosion Mayor Bill de Blasio and Police Commissioner James P. O'Neill labeled it an attempted terror attack. Thank God the perpetrator did not achieve his ultimate goals, de Blasio said. The suspect was identified as 27-year-old Akadala. 27-year-old Akadala in custody law enforcement officials said he was inspired by the Islamic State group but had apparently not had any direct contact with the group. The officials said he lives in Brooklyn and may be of Bangladeshi descent. According to an NYPD source speaking to CNN, the device either did not detonate according to plan or malfunctioned. There was a stampede up the stairs to get out, said Diego Fernandez, one of the commuters at Port Authority. Everybody was scared and running and shouting. CNN quoted another eyewitness who said he heard two explosions while exiting a bus at around 745 am. It was two distinct explosions seconds from each other, Francisco Ramirez told CNN. As I was making my way toward the outside, I kept getting shoved by cops and there were cops at every entrance blocking and there was police and SWAT everywhere. It was scary. It was just a lot of chaos but I didn't see any injuries. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio and President Donald Trump have been briefed on the incident, according to local media and the White House. The bus terminal was temporarily closed and the A, C and D subway train lines were evacuated, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey said in a Twitter statement. New Jersey transit buses headed to the Port Authority were diverting to other locations following the explosion. NJ Transit says buses are taking passengers to Secaucus and Hoboken. From there, they can take trains or path into the city. Trains, path, light rail and ferries are honoring bus tickets into New York. News of the incident jarred financial markets as trading was getting underway for the week. Standard Poor's 500 Index Amini Futures paired gains, the dollar weakened against the yen and U.S. Treasury Securities prices gained on a modest flight to safety bid. The incident occurred less than two months after an Uzbek immigrant killed eight people by speeding a rental truck down a New York City bike path in an attack for which Islamic State claimed responsibility. In September 2016, a man injured more than two dozen people when he set off a homemade bomb in New York's Chelsea District. The Associated Press contributed to this report.